Hey guys, Toxy here, and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to install Toxy UI. There's gonna be timestamps in the video, so if you want to skip around, feel free to do so. But if you are a new player or you are unfamiliar with add ons, I do welcome you to watch the entire thing because you might learn a thing or two that you hadn't uh, known already. And overall, just you know, general tips and tricks uh, what to do after installing, etc. So first things first, what we're going to do is this is optional, but again, if you're unfamil unfamiliar with add-ons, I do recommend doing this. And what we're going to do is uh, first make sure the game is uh, turned off. We don't want the game running at this point. And we go to our uh, World of Warcraft uh, folder. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be installing into the retail folder. And what I'm going to do is just take the WTF folder and rename it to WTF old. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, basically there's two reasons, actually. First, if I mess up or I don't like Tox UI or something goes wrong, I can always go back to the old config add-ons uh, settings I had. So we're basically just making a backup. And a second reason is that very often people come into my Discord and they ask about certain things being broken when in fact, they're not broken. It's just like a relic from a previous user interface that they were using. So by, you know, starting on a fresh clean slate, we can ensure that the experience is basically as expected and there's no, you know, issues. Now, after we have uh, prepared our World of Warcraft folder for the installation, if you're not already using it, I highly recommend using wowup.io specifically the curseforge version uh, basically what is this this is like a alternative to manual installation or if you are using a curseforge launcher this is an alternative to that and it's simply better by having more uh, add-on providers so it's not exclusive to curseforge you can as you can even see in the screenshot here uh, you have different providers like uh, Wago, uh, Wawap Hub, CurseForge, uh, and you also have the LVI repository, which you can download LVI from. So yeah, just make sure you get the Wawap with, with CurseForge uh, version, download. It's very simple. Just download, install, install it, and we'll, can, we can continue. Now, once you have installed Wawap.io, uh, there are a couple things you can do. First, let's go to the options and Make sure that the uh, World of Warcraft path is correct and it's this exact same as you have your World of Warcraft uh, game installed too. It's, it's usually correct, but it's still worth double checking. Then uh, it immediately recognizes all of your add-ons. And if you don't see anything or anything's missing, you can just rescan for folders and that should collect all of them. And always make sure to have your add-ons updated. That's like the number one cause for issues. And here you can see I already have a bunch of add-ons installed. Uh, let's not care about that much. Let's not let's ignore the ignore the LVI. Doesn't really matter. What you need to do is basically go to the get add-ons page. Make sure you have the correct version of World of Warcraft selected. So if you're playing Season of Discovery, you want to check uh, uh, World of Warcraft Classic. If you're playing Wrath of the Lich King, you want to select, you know, Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And you can just, you know, search for your add-ons. Hit enter, of course. And here we have LUI. I already have it installed. So if we go back to the DocsUI CurseForge site, or rather the DocsUI website, the main website, you immediately see this download TaxUI button. If you open it, it opens your uh, this CurseForge page. And you have a lot of information here. Uh, if you have the time, do read it. Uh, it explains a lot of stuff, but what you're most interested in is right here, required add-ons. So you can see we only have two add-ons required. And that's LVI because TaxUI is a plugin for LVI. So of course we need it. And then for retail only, so in this case Dragonflight, we need LVI Wind Tools as well. If you do not have these two add-ons for retail and they are not updated, uh, then Toxy will simply not load. 
So going back to the WoW app, you see that I have LVI and I also have LVI Wind Tools installed already. So basically, um, I'm ready to jump into the game. So let's do that. Now, uh, once we're in game, uh, do not freak out because you will see a Blizzard intro. You will see the sounds being very loud. That is because we have renamed the WTF folder and that's where our, all, all of our game settings are being stored. So before you continue further, you know, don't freak out, just go to the menu, go to the options, uh, make sure your audio is correct, everything's fine. Uh, it's, it's a very short process. And before we log in to the game, we want to go to the add-ons section right here. Let's disable everything because we don't need it right now. And basically what we want to ensure is that we have LVI, LVI libraries and LVI options uh, enabled. These are the core LVI add-ons and we need all three of them. Then, of course, LVI wind tools if you are on retail, in this case Dragonflight, and LVI tax UI. And also one more thing I might have forgotten to mention is here you see I have enabled bug grabber and bug sack. Uh, these two add-ons are essential to World of Warcraft because they catch all of your LUA Lua errors and uh, they simply put it into a nice green bag and if it's red then it means uh, you have a error and it will make a fatality sound if you do get an error so get these and if you see like you know you see a, an error thrown copy that error post it to the developer of the add-on that you get the error from, they will thank you. Okay, and after we've ensured that we have all the correct add-ons loaded and they are, they don't have any red or yellow, you know, message here, because it might say dependency missing, etc. So if you do have a dependency missing, enable it. Like in this case, LVI. TaxUI has dependencies for LVI and Wind Tools. So pay close attention to this. Now, once you are finally in the game, you will see a lot of stuff popping up on your screen. Uh, don't freak out, it's all fine. We can just move stuff around, doesn't really matter. And you will see an LVI installation. So other people might recommend going through it, but I prefer to skip it by simply typing in chat slash reload because it might be useful to run the LVI installation for setting up all the necessary stuff, but TaxUI installation already does that for you, so you don't need to run an installation twice. Now, very important thing, in the future, after this video is old and outdated, this might change. But one thing that doesn't change is the information that we provide in the installer. I highly recommend you pay close attention and follow the steps that are provided in the installer, because, well, if you don't, you will probably have issues. And all of this text is here for a reason. It explains everything that you need to know. So, again, pay close attention and read. The most important thing that you can do is read stuff. Once we've gone, gone over the main page, we can click Install. And here you can create a profile. It's uh, medium importance, but we always recommend creating a new one because, you know, just to avoid issues. So the name TaxUI fits for me. Fine. And now I can click continue or just use current because currently active profile is TaxUI, the one we just created. And this is the core settings layout. This is the most important step in the whole installation process. It basically sets up everything for you. Once again, please do read this information. As it says right here, skipping this will result in an unfinished and broken UI. And also extremely important, installing our profile will, like in the majority of other UI plugins, overwrite your existing profile. So make sure you made, made a new profile. Any previous change you have made will most likely be lost. Actually, not most likely, definitely be lost. So please make backups if you're afraid. And we already made backups, so we're good. And we select a layout, DPS tank or healer. Uh, healer is for noobs, so let's go DPS. And that's basically it. Uh, the installation process is done. Uh, and the next few pages that we have here are for extra additional add-ons that you might need or they are like recommended to have. So 
In this case, we have details. In this version of Tox UI, we offer two windows or one window. So if you care about only your DPS, you can go with one window. If you want to see the healing done as well, click two windows. Doesn't really matter. You can customize that later on. So I'm just going to go with one window. Then Plater. Plater is our nameplate add-on. We do not use LBI nameplates because Plater simply give, uh, gives us more information that's easier to customize and it's it's basically the weak orders of nameplates. So I'm going to install that. Then we also have support for bigwigs. I personally don't use it that much, uh, but it's there if you need. Here's a quick screenshot of how it looks. It basically tells you, uh, you know, boss cooldowns, etc. Next, we have weak chorus. So, Tox UI does not include any weak chorus with it, but as it said here, you can grab a link. And as you can see, it already generates a link for Mage Weak Chorus from Luxos.com. So, just copy that, go to the browser, you can import them later. And there's also a Tox UI guide. Uh, and I will show that later. Then we also have a page for additional add-ons. These are completely optional. Do not worry about them. If you have these add-ons, we also provide profiles for them. So, you know, just a little extra. And at the end, you're done. You can click finish to finish. You can also click discord to get a link to our discord server where we provide all the information and support. And there's also a link for the ToxUI website, which has a lot of useful information. So after you click finish, the UI reloads and we should be good to go. Amazing. We are ready. And that's it for the game part. Now, the last bit of information I want to show you is the Tox UI website itself. Uh, I want to be a mage this time. Uh, and this website has a lot of information. So first we have articles. The latest articles are shown here. These are mostly used for patch updates. So. If you're, you know, unable to go into the game, you want to read on a patch, you know, I, I provide information here. So then we have some boilerplate stuff, but the most important part is the weak chorus page and the FAQ. So for the weak chorus, uh, this is also included in the installer, the link to this page. So this basically shows how can you customize your weak chorus so they fit the Tox UI style. And if we scroll to the bottom, you can see the before, you know, eh, whatever, and the after, which is much nicer looking. And the most important part is the FAQ, also known as Frequently Asked Questions. Before you have any question, I highly recommend going through these. So yeah, if you want to have a question about your unit frames, for example, you go here, how to change the text, all the information here. How can I edit the class type, all information here. Uh, action bars, how to make action bars be square, how to make them visible, it's all here. If, if you think that something must be added, do let me know. And that is it for this video. As of the time of recording, I see that the recording is 20 minutes long. I do hope I can cut it down to like 10 minutes max. I uh, hope you enjoyed, I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, do pop up to our Discord server, we are, we, we are happy to help you. And all the links that I mentioned should be in the video description down below and in case unless I forget. So, you know, still Discord, read, enjoy.